Hey, hey, Blue Table fans, Sean here. I'm on the Games Workshop site. It is uh, the weekend, and I'm at my house. So you may hear some kids in the background. Yeah, there they go. They, uh, just, got, they just got in for playing in the snow. So, um, yeah, it's really great. I have uh, four kids age five through 15. So they're at the age where they can kind of go off as a group and, and do their thing. Uh, Willow just walked in. Say hi, Willow. I'm making a recording. Hi. And <laughs> I have something to tell you. Okay, what do you have to tell me? Don't walk me out in the middle of the night in the snow. <laughs> okay. No, I you probably didn't do that on purpose, but I'm glad I'm glad you're inside now. Okay, so anyway, uh, tonight I want to talk to you about these guys right here. This is a new kit by Games Workshop. As you know, I'm a huge fan of Tyranids. They're my second favorite army. And you've got um, let's see here. So the book came out. It was a little lackluster. There wasn't a whole lot of uh, awesome, amazing stuff in it. Uh, it had some subtle, you know, advantages for the, the big one being that uh, termagants uh, were allowed to come in groups of mixed weaponry. That was kind of a big deal. No, it definitely was a big deal. And so um, anyway, so, you know, it's it's the little things. So the Venom Throat model definitely hasn't undergone any uh, notable changes, like in terms of its general uh, shape. Uh, you know, this is weird. This looks like the old one, actually. The um, yeah, the the resin one, or fine cast, or whatever it is they're calling it. So, hold on, let's take a look at this 360 model. Yeah, this is this is the new one. Sorry, this is a little off here, uh, but I, I don't have any way of adjusting the. Adjusting the frame. Okay, here we go. That's not bad. Yeah, this is, oh man, just spectacular. And, you know, I, I like that they didn't overdo it. You know, like they didn't make the tentacles have like spikes on them, you know, because sometimes it's like so much. Um, but, God, there's all these little barbs. So uh, this is this is what uh, we at the BTP studio call uh, complexity creep which means that the models actually get harder and harder to paint and assemble because they keep adding details. But you know what? That is okay. That's okay with me. That's part of the constant improvement. So anyway, so they got this new kit. It makes uh, Zoanthropes and Venomthropes. Uh, let's see if I can get. And it makes the new Neurothrope. So, but that's not what I wanted to talk about today. I wanted to, hold on, let's see if I can get to the Tyranids section. So here we go, Tyranids. There we go. So I want to talk about this thing here. And, um, uh, hold on, where is it? Okay. Items per page. That's a problem. Let's do all. Okay, so I now have, uh, in front of me, I have White Dwarf, um, issue 41. That's for, uh, November 8th, 2014. And uh, I was just, I was no end of excited to see this come through. By the way, my computer's going really slow because I am processing a battle report. And uh, so I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and, okay, I think this is still loading. All right. Okay, so in that White Dwarf, there's three entries. One is for the Tyrannocyte, and this is immediately recognizable as being very similar to the old Spore Pod. Uh, the difference is the old Spore Pod, I think it costs like 50 points, and this one costs um, about time and a half that. And so you've got uh, the Tyrannocyte... Uh, the big difference is that it uh, has five death spitters, and those are spaced like equidistant around the top, and it can move. That's really the big one. So uh, let's just go line by line here. So it's uh, weapon skill, ballistic skill two, strength and toughness both five, 
So, uh, you know, not as tough as some of the bigger creature, but still very respectable. Respectable. Six wounds. Uh, that's nice. Uh, the armor's only four up, but and it's a monstrous creature. So, and that, but that's not really its strength. I'm actually going to talk about that uh, in a minute. What is going on here? Come on, load up, folks. Yeah, Tyranid should have 53 products. Here we go. Yeah, you get to look at this blank page while I talk about this. Okay, so yeah, it comes with five Death Spitters, and um, it has the ability. What the heck is going on here? Why is this not showing the Tyranid section? All right, there we go. Nice. Okay. So, um, the special rules are Deep Strike, Fearless, and Instinctive Fire. And um, so, Fearless is an unusual Tyranid ability. You usually get that if you're a Synapse creature or you're within Synapse range. So, quite frankly, uh, I think. Uh, the Fearless is, is pretty cool. Um, Deep Strike, obviously, that uh, harkens back to the old uh, pod. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna open this because I can't seem to get anything else. All right, well there you go. Uh, so this bundle is two hundred and two dollars. If you just buy the Spore Pods, I think they're sixty five, something like that. And I quite frankly, I'm not sure what size of base this is, but uh, you know, it's um, well I don't know. Let's go back to the um, Go back to the thing and see if there's some kind of size comparison for it. Uh, okay, so I, I'm imagining they're roughly the size of like one of those little, you know, Nerf things. Oh my gosh, come on, come on GW store. You gotta load up, you gotta load up right. Okay, that went to Warhammer Fantasy probably because I clicked it. Okay, so um, they can't run or charge. They can consolidate, but cannot make a sweeping advance. And what this means, of course, is it, they, they can move. And that's kind of a big deal. And, um, hold on, maybe I can just find it this way. No. no. Well, if you look at this, you know, I mean, it's pretty bulky. It's probably, you know, like a Turvagon could fit inside of it. And, yeah, look at, look at that. So cool. So much cool stuff. All right. And so it can move. It can go six inches. Now, but if it can't charge, like, what's the point of that? Uh, well, um, oh, and, and here it is. I believe the big deal with these guys is board control. And so, yeah, that literally you just block things with this uh, with this creature, especially the other version of it. Okay, so anyway, so it says that uh, there are transports. Oh, and by the way, I'm quite aware that uh, better tacticians than me have reviewed this model already, but, you know, I felt inspired, and up it goes on the channel. So it has a transport capacity of 20, and monstrous creatures count as 20 models for the purpose of transport capacity. So declare which unit is being carried during deployment. Now, if I'm reading this right, this means anything can go in this. And that is that is pretty cool. And so I wonder, for example, I wonder with um, like if a Turvagon could arrive by deep strike, disembark, and then start spawning. So I don't have my Tyranid book in front of me, which I, I should, but um, anyway. So yeah, the, the, you can't re-embark on them. Uh, but for uh, 25 points per option, you can uh, have them have five barbed stranglers or five venom cannons. With low ballistic skill, the barbed stranglers um, might be best. Again, I don't have my Tyranid book in front of me. I can't remember if those are blast weapons still. And uh, so anyway, I, I'm just stoked to have these be, you know, in in the book again. I mean... I tier, just with this one entry, I think Tyranids are going to get a new lease on life because uh, the, the drop potting thing is, is, is pretty cool. And uh, I think 
just being able to like drift these things around and block charges, block lines of sight, um, you can you can really get some board control with these things. So I, I personally I I'm adding at least three to the studio Tyranids right away. All right, so let's go to the other one. In fact, let me just do a product search. That, that would be another way around this sporocyst. So this same kit also makes a different type of creature uh, called a sporocyst. And okay, maybe you can't buy these individually. So, uh, and this doesn't have a base. It just kind of plops right down on the, on the board here. Let me see if I can, oh yeah, there's a 360 of it. So wow, that's uh, that's that's pretty cool. So um, basically, the sporocyst is unusual because it has infiltrate. So it starts on the board, and it can just it can just infiltrate just because it can. Pretty much no reason to 360 this thing. Really, it kind of just is all equidistant. If I had to guess, I'd say it has five of these little things on them and uh, five of like those carapace things. So anyway, so, but it's, this one's static, it can't move at all. And, um, but it uh, produces, it produces spore mine clusters. Now, I thought spore mine clusters were gonna be awesome, but quite frankly, they only move three inches. They're just, they're really quite pathetic. But I think the real strength of these things is going to be if you dropped three of them, you could basically start blocking lanes, blocking line of sight. I mean, look at how wide this thing is compared to the other creatures, you know. I mean, that is just, that is, I mean, it's like a piece of terrain. that, And it starts on the board and can start shooting right away. And um, it can also produce a, a mucolid spore, just one, once per game. But those things are pretty cool. And uh, they typically cost, let's see, by themselves, oh, they're only 15 points, yowza. So uh, the sporocyst also, um, if there's a synapse creature within six inches, that synapse creature gets plus six inches to its synapse range. So that is, that is a pretty huge benefit. And so dropping two of these onto the board could be very advantageous and pretty soon. Uh, although... You know, with a four-up save, I don't know. I, I think if my opponent is shooting at these things, it it'll be uh, an advantage to the horde as it as it moves forward. So, and they're they have instinctive fire, both of them, and that means they basically shoot at the at the closest thing. So, um, so there's those. Now on the blue table, on blue ta uh, bluetablestore.com. Oh, by the way, this is our Flickr page. Uh, we've got 1,371 albums on here since we started using it last year. And, uh, you know, you can basically, you can just see all the stuff that we've done here. Uh, it, it, almost without exception, everything we do goes up on, goes up on Flickr. In fact, let's take a look. See, here's this uh, fell blade. So... You know, we take, we've got good lighting, we take good pictures, and, uh, you know, so uh, it's pretty easy to see what it is that you're, that you're getting. So uh, let's continue. Let's go to bluetablestore.com. Here it comes. And uh, I just started making a bunch of these. These are, uh, seed, they're called seed pods. And, uh, guys, let's see. Oh, here you go. Great. So, oh, it looks like we're sold out of the ones that we have done. I'm currently casting up just a ton of these things. Uh, we did, you know, a bunch of them already. And so, basically, now these list at 50. However, we have an ongoing uh, sale uh, for all this Xenomorph upgrade stuff. And that is... Um, so if you type in the code, which is Xenogo, which is X-E-N-O-G-O, -O, you get half off a purchase of $50 or more. So that makes these seed pods effectively two for two for 50. So that's, I, I think they're the coolest. Um, I'm going to use, I mean, you can use them for a lot of different things. I've seen somebody, let's see if I can just get a larger picture here. I've seen somebody use them as, uh, like this is like, the carapace of a beetle, 
you know, for some big alien beetle looking creature. Uh, we sell these bases separately because we don't know if people would like those weird, you know, sort of uh, alien goo type bases. So you can do them closed, you can do them like split open. You can actually convert something on the interior of them. The interiors of these are actually very handsome. You can't see it, but there's like this spine, bone spine thing in there. And um, yeah, we're, I have some available right now, even though it says pre-order, there are some available. Oh, you can see the spine thing a little bit better right here. Um, they do come unpainted. They're, uh, all these products are meant for the intermediate to advanced hobbyists to convert things out of it is uh, fully the intention. But this is an example of what you could do. Now, in terms of the guns, uh, you know, it depends on how, uh, you know, I guess, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, OCD, your uh, gaming group is, but I'm going to make it so that, like, the, these little, um, I guess, uh, openings here, that's actually what shoots, like, spines and stuff like that. You know, maybe even these little uh, circular nodules here, and that's that's how I'll do line of sight all around for the, for the guns. So, the various guns that they can have. So, anyway, definitely doing up two of these. All right, let's go back to the GW site. Uh, let's take a look at these mucolid spore clusters. I'm pretty sure these aren't 40 millimeter bases. And these things are great. They're actually reminiscent of the uh, mycetic spores from uh, Forge World. In fact, the two could probably be used interchangeably. Uh, at the time of this uh, video, the Studio Tyranid army is for sale, and I have six uh, of those Forge World spore things in there, and I think they're, these are basically the same size, so. Uh, sorry, my frame really isn't lined up very well here, but uh, those things are, these things are really cool looking. But let's talk about them in the game. 15 points each, boy, you cannot go wrong for what these do. Um, <clears throat> they're floating bomb. So they follow the spore mine rules, and I gotta tell you, that's not that great. It gives them three inch movement, uh, and they're just toughness three, no armor, uh, three wounds though, and uh, but they do explode at strength eight AP three. And with a sporo cyst, you could let's see spore nodes. Yeah, I wonder if you could just charge right on in with the with the mucolid spore that the sporo cyst produces on the same turn. The big thing about the spore clusters is they're allowed to assault zooming flyers or swooping monstrous creatures, and uh, they hit the target automatically uh, on the side armor, so that's actually pretty cool. And they have deep strike, but again, I think you're going to have a hard time getting these guys actually into base contact, so I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see what the professionals come up with, but they are pretty cheap at 15 points a model. Well, that is that is my review of these three new models. Uh, the bottom line is, I think they'll give the Tyranids some new uh, sort of tactical dimensions, and also they'll be able to, uh, you know, get, give some board control. I think even two or three of them could really really change up a game because of how accurately they can deploy. You know, the, uh, the Tyrannocyte can um, basically, a scat it's like a drop pod that it reduces the scatter by the distance minimum required. So um, when you, let's see, deep strike rules, top of the passable train, or another model, friend or foe. Yeah. So basically you can use your own creatures to kind of make sure it comes down exactly where you want by just having a couple of things, you know, nearby. Well, folks, thanks for tuning in. I want you to know that uh, at Blue Table Painting, we are here almost every day, and uh, we are taking uh, good care of our process, our systems. We uh, are responsive to our clients. Uh, right now, we are very, very on top of things. Um, I guess as an incidental side note, um, well, you know, I'll talk about that on Monday. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, I'll see you tomorrow.